Hello everybody, YouTubers, RV Rubber Watchers. It's a beautiful day and I am on Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. Today and not tomorrow, there's no time to borrow. Today is a good day to live. It's 75 degrees and this is my first day here my first day at the beach back or back at the beach here this is one of my favorite beaches and i'm on my way down to the beach gonna catch me some vitamin d rays danny's comfortable in the shade i'm parked underneath the shade tree and um she's in the shade and she's comfy and i'm gonna go to the beach it's pretty crowded the um big parking lot that i usually park in they, I guess it was too full. They got a lot of cars there. They must be having a special picnic or something over there. It's right there in the back, as you can see it right over there. And it's, it's the overflow lot. And usually it's a great place for me to park. And there's a tree I usually like to park under when I was here before. But um, they directed me to the gravel lot. So that's where I am. And I'm taking up a lot of parking spaces, but that's where they told me to go. And it looks like the pavilions are open. Um, you know, it's Saturday, so I'm sure Saturdays are extra crowded. A lot of fire ants. Got to watch out for the fire ants so I don't get bit. But I'm going to take a cut through the, the grass, through this little park area here where the, there's a restroom over here. It looks like everything's open. But what I read was, you know, it was going to be... Um, limited access uh, based on you know space occupancy and space I don't have my uh, phone holder today my gimbal because I'm just going to go to the water I don't want to have to worry about somebody grabbing it when I go if I want to go put my feet in the water or if I want to go for a walk and uh, I'm trying to go to the beach with as little items as possible you know, so I've taken you here before and I will link up above some of my videos looking back at previous visits here to the Myrtle Beach State Park. I'm not camping here. Last night I camped at the Walmart and the senior citizen price to, for me to get in here for the day was five bucks. Five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. Not bad. They have a beautiful, now, last time I was here, the pier was not open, but it looks like, because it had hurricane damage, but it looks like it's open today. So, um, I don't know that I'll take a walk today, but I may take a walk another day, because I'll be here other days to come back to the beach and ride my bike. I am gonna ride my bike down here one day, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. I'm gonna visit with Lindy and if you watch my videos and you might remember that Lindy lives in South Carolina and we've met here before and we camped together at Lollapalooza last year. She is the lady that flew in to the Destination Open Source meetup and stayed at that awesome tent that Der Terry and Scott fixed up for her. <laughs> yeah and her and I have become friends. So I'm gonna probably hang out with her a little bit this weekend. And also my high school gal pal from our gal pal gathering last year here. We didn't do it this year. We were gonna plan it, but it just wasn't working for anybody. So um, I'm back here by myself and it's gonna be a great day. It's gorgeous. Let's take a look at the beach. There's the pier and it is, like I said, open today. We'll take a walk down that pier another time. Maybe later, we'll see. Hopefully I'll put it in this video. If not, it'll be in the next video. There it is. And the beach is packed. Wow. And this is a state park. This isn't even, this is not even near any of the hotels or the campgrounds. And you can see there are 
umbrellas way down past the next pier. People are glad that this beach has opened up. It's a nice, hot, sunny day. I'm so excited. Chopper helicopters are up. And I can actually come up here and see my camper from here a little bit. But I don't know if they're renting out the... It looks like they're probably renting out those little pavilions. But this is a beautiful beach. I love this beach. It looks like there might still be work... Uh, well, maybe a barge down there, not actually the pier. But yep. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can get close to the water, listen to the breezes, feel the wind, catch me some vitamin D sun rays. Just got to take off my shoes. These are my shoes I got in Fort Myers that are made from recycled tires. And I did buy a black pair, but I didn't dig them out today. And I expect that each pair will be good for, since they're recycled tires, they might be good for 65,000 miles. And so that's 130 miles between the two pairs. Gorgeous. Let's go set up my chair. Let's go check out the water. Oh, it is cold. Very cold. Ooh. Sand feels good though. Can you hear the waves? freaking freezing Whew. little too cold I don't think I'll be going in today but maybe a couple days you never know if it warms up love the waves gorgeous beautiful waves and let's pan around to my chair there's where I'm gonna be parked gonna be parked right there today I brought a sandwich, got my water, got my music, got my sunscreen. So I want to show you my newest gadget. See this? It is a giant clip, but it clips on to the edge of your lawn chair and or any chair or whatever. And it's got, hold your cup, but if you turn it over, it can work as a little plate because of this and then and hold a wine it can hold a wine glass on that side because it's got a smaller opening see there you can just put your stemware in there and you could use it the other side you put your wine in there and put a little cheese on the this little area right there isn't that cool you probably noticed it was hanging in my visor and I wish I would have bought, bought more than one I don't remember where I got it you know I probably got it either on my way back when I hit the cold weather or while I was in Illinois um, at home. I might have seen it somewhere. But I wish I had another one and I'm going to keep my eye open for more. They're great little gifts to give people for the beach, you know. Hey everybody. It's Monday. Fun day, fun day in South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. Okay, so every time I've come to the state park for the day, I've only paid five dollars to get in. I said, just said I was a senior, five dollars, and they've never charged me more. But it turns out that it's eight dollars if you don't live in South Carolina, so they don't give you a senior discount if you're from another state. Yeah, what a shame, huh? But, you know, whatever. Eight bucks is not bad, I guess. You know, to spend a day at the beach and park all day and et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going in. Today I'm going into the overflow lot because they don't have it marked off. Well, they do have certain spaces where they're telling you you can't pull through like a rig. So I'm going to have to see where I'm going to be able to park along the side and take up a whole bunch of parking spaces because... Yep, because, well, this guy over here, got a different kind of a little camper. I'm going to pull behind this other guy, this other camper, since they're blocking off the 
spaces. Okay, so what's happening with me today? Well, I'm here at the state park. I'm parked in the overflow parking where they allow large vehicles, and I'm spending the day here. And as I mentioned earlier, um, it I always thought it was always five dollars. That's what they charged me, but they were charging me wrong. They were supposed to charge me eight because the senior citizens discount that they gave me, it, they're not supposed to give me. They're only supposed to give that to South Carolina seniors. So today I paid eight dollars to come here for the day. And when I got here, I realized that because I failed to level my my failed to level my RV when I was staying at my friend's house in their driveway, my refrigerator defrosted and some of my food started to defrost because it was on level. I believe that that's the reason why. So I'm trying to work on that now. But in the meantime, my Italian sausage was thawing out. So now I am cooking Italian sausage. And I'll decide if, what we're going to do with that for dinner. If we're going to do that for dinner, maybe I may make something to go with that. We'll see. So that's where I'm at today. I'm going to take Danny for a walk. It's beautiful out. Here's my view from my, where I'm parked here. And I'm parked in a nice area. Um, there's another, there's a class seat behind me. Or I shouldn't say behind me, but in front of me. And actually, if you see the front of this red van, that gentleman and I were parked here last year. He's back again, too. So the ranger is over there patrolling. Here he comes. And what I did notice is the rangers here are wearing masks while they're riding their ATVs on the beach by themselves. The pier is open. It's a beautiful, breezy day here on Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. And I'm happy to be out here breathing all this beautiful fresh air and looking at the Atlantic Ocean. Gorgeous. A little cloudy. It was sunny earlier. I'm loving it though. Taking Danny for a walk. Okay, so I am on my way back to the state park because I decided to make a reservation and camp at the campground. It's a little pricey, but I thought I would just give myself a treat. And I ran into this traffic jam here. It seems to be a duck day here in Myrtle Beach. Oh, look at there. Is that who I think it is? John, Paul, Ringo, and George? Do 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 they crossed the road and I'm back to heading out. Okay, here we are at the Myrtle Beach State Park and Danny and I are gonna go for a bike ride. We're all settled in here. There's a kid's park right behind us. And, uh, we've got electric and water. And it's a close, these campsites are pretty close together, but they're not bad. Very, a lot of trees. So I'm gonna go take a ride. You've already been to the beach. I've taken you there, but. So Danny, you ready to go for a bike ride, huh? Are you ready? Hey, you. You ready to go for a bike ride? Say yes, mom. We're ready to go. She's all snug as a bug in her little papoose here. We're ready. She loves it. As soon as I take out this thing, she jumps up ready to go. So we're gonna go for a ride. See you in a bit. And I, I really wanna know Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down 